What's good, YouTube family? It's your boy Big D, and then today I have a video. I would like, to, I would like to tell you a little story. All right, let's get this video started. Remember, before, but, be, but before we get started, if you guys are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any of me and my my dog Chopper's videos. Come on, Chopper. This is my dog Chopper. All right, let's, let's get this video on, shall we? Okay, let me tell you a story about the days when I had scoliosis. All right, back in, well, back in 2012, yep, in 2012, you know, that, yeah, that's the day. No, wait, 2011, when I, when I spent the night at my grandmother's house for at least a couple of days, it was fun going, it was fun stopping by with her, but then all of a sudden, when I was getting getting dressed to go to get ready to go, mom, my grandmother saw how my back was turned, so she done called, she done stopped me, and came and came to see my how my back is, and when she looked at it, she has I had my back was all curved. It was like like a big S. Ooh, I'm telling you. I'm just glad she didn't. I'm just glad she caught that. If she didn't catch it, I would, I would have felt the pain for a while, and I could barely sit. I could barely sit up. Okay, and in those days, I had to go to the. I had to go to the doctor to see how my back was turned, and it was all the way turned. And they scheduled me for the surgery. I was. I was. I was scared of the surgery. Yeah, I was really scared of the surgery, and I had to. And when surgery called, after the parade was over, I had to spend the night at a hospital for six days. Cause back in the days I could play. Cause back in the days before I had scoliosis, I could play the piggyback game. But then after that, I'll never play. I'll never play piggyback again. The doctor says I can never play piggyback again because I don't want any damage on my back no more. And so, and so the days after when I got out of the hospital, I was feeling really sad that I get to miss out on the fun. But then, all in the same token, I was glad to be, I was glad to be out of the hospital again, and happy to be home again. The place where I belonged. Yeah, I've been, I've been stuck at home for. I've been stuck at home for. I've been stuck in there since. October, November, December, January, February, March, April. No March. I've been stuck in there. I've been I've been stuck in the house till March. I've been stuck in there for six months. I had nothing to do. But luckily my mother my mother calls some people so they can so I could catch up with the grades. So I could catch up with the schoolwork. And I was happy too. I had to work with the schoolwork with my mom. She helped she helped me catch up with the days I missed. She got me she got me two tutors. And I'm just lucky to have a tutor, because otherwise if I didn't have to do it, I would have failed fourth and um, fifth grade. But I'm just glad I have her on my side. No matter what, my mama is number one in my book. I'm just so happy to have a mama like her. If she didn't hire a tutor, I would have, I would have missed the school days. But but I'm glad I didn't. And so after that, and so after tutoring is finished. I have went back to school, and when I, and after the surgery was over, oh, I just missed the part. After the surgery, of the scoliosis surgery was over, I had, I had the feeling I had to start practicing walking again. Yeah, I had to walk again, and I was standing up, really tall. I could, I could barely move my legs and all. I couldn't. I couldn't feel my legs moving. Yeah, it happens in every surgery. You couldn't feel your 
makes how the movie how it used to be. It happens with everybody after surgery. And then, after that, after I got used to it, I can, I can walk, but they say, but they say I can't run, because I had to wait, I had to wait till I'm clear, I had to wait till I'm cleared so I'm ready to run again, and so after that, I was ready to go, I was ready, I was free, I was free out of the hospital, and I was, and I was having fun. But the doctor told me, but the doctor told me, ah, stupid blur, but the doctor told me to take it easy with my back. See, they don't want to have any more damage to my back because it can ruin this rods and screws. Yeah, I had to wear these rods and screws in my back for life. Yep, they can put the rods and screws in my back to keep my back all straightened up. That way, it wouldn't be all curvy. Yep, all you got to, kids... When it comes to surgery, I know it might be scared, scary, but just remember, God has your back, and He will be there at the surgery for you, with you. So, kids, just remember, God is with there. God is with you. And I was just, and I was blessed when I got out of the hospital. I was so happy to be out. And when I woke, it was, and after that day. I had to lay on my back. I had to lay in bed on my back instead of my stomach. Stomach is no good. And so, that's, and here's the end, here's the ending of the story. Wait a minute, I just told you the end of your story about the days when I told you already when a doctor says I'm free to go, I was so happy. But then they told me to take it easy on my, on my back. And that means no more piggyback rides. Yep, I could do stuff whatever I want, except for piggyback rides. Piggyback rides is a damaged part. But well, that's the end of the story of the scoliosis I had. So, that's all the time for here for today. Hey, if you like this video, remember to please give it a thumbs up. Sub hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Like, comment, share. Like, comment, share. Like, comment, share. Like, comment, share. And I will see you next time on the spot. Peace.